I learned this trick in a famous restaurant. Now I only make chicken like this. Start by placing a large plastic bag in a bowl and arrange it just like this. Then add a whole chicken. Now season with two tablespoons of salt, one generous teaspoon of black pepper, add 10 garlic cloves chopped into small cubes, one grated onion, parsley to taste, three sprigs of fresh rosemary, three sprigs of fresh thyme, one teaspoon of chili flakes, 20 milliliters of olive oil, 250 milliliters of orange juice, and 150 milliliters of water. Then pull the bag and spread the seasonings just like I'm doing here. Once that's done, close the bag and let it all marinate for one hour. Meanwhile, in a large bowl, add two potatoes cut into smaller pieces, two carrots cut into slices, two onions cut into smaller pieces. Season with one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of sweet paprika, one teaspoon of chili flakes, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of olive oil, and mix very well to combine all the ingredients. Take this time to share this video and write in the comment section the name of the city from which you're watching it, and we'll make sure to leave a heart, especially for you. Oh, and thanks for sharing this video. Once you've done that, transfer all the vegetables to a medium baking tray lined with aluminum foil and set aside. After the chicken has finished marinating, open the bag and pour the chicken and the marinade back into the bowl. Now, remove the chicken and reserve the marinade. Once you've done that, transfer the chicken to the baking tray with the vegetables we prepared. Stuff the chicken with one onion chopped into smaller pieces. Bring the chicken thighs together and tie them just like this. Have you got that recipe app? It's already available for download. Go to the App Store or Play Store now, type that recipe, and download it. Next, pour the marinade broth all over the chicken, spreading it well. Cover with foil, take to a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and roast for one hour. But keep an eye out, as this time may vary depending on the power of your oven. Meanwhile, in a small bowl, add three tablespoons of unsalted butter, one tablespoon of sweet paprika, and mix very well until combined. Once the chicken is roasted, remove the foil, remove the excess seasoning sprigs, and using a brush, spread the butter we prepared all over the chicken. I hope you're enjoying the recipe. Share it with your friends. By doing so, you'll be helping us go even further. Take the tray back to the oven and bake until golden. This is the right point. That recipe is ready. You may now serve and enjoy it. I hope you liked this recipe. Now I'll head to the comment section and leave a heart to everyone who left the name of their city. See you next recipe. Bye bye.